Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. In this video, I'm going to find out how much the Audi Q4 e-tron 50 Quattro can consume on mountainous roads if driven economically. And also, how much of the energy used to lift the vehicle up 2000 meters or 60,000 feet of altitude can be recuperated on the way down. This car is not the usual dealer's car. This is the brand new car of one of my subscribers, Guntram, who made his way from Munich to Innsbruck, that's around 100 miles or 160 kilometers, for me to do this test with his car. Guntram is sitting next to me and we've already done the consumption test on the EcoDriver loop. I've put the link in the description box below and also at the end of this video. This car has two electric motors with a peak power of 220 kilowatts combined, maximum torque of 460 newton meters. More importantly, the braking power is 150 kilowatts, which will help us to avoid the friction brakes in case we need to brake a little bit stronger. Unlaned weight is 2,288 kilograms, 4,034 pounds, plus the two of us in here. So I better don't think about our weight. <laughs> Uh, WLTP is 18.4 kWh per 100 km. I'm sure we will stay considerably below that even on this loop as we had 14.1 according to the port computer on the EcoDriver loop. For those who are new to this channel, um, we are doing four laps on this loop. I show you here. We start at the lowest point marked in blue, going twice clockwise and twice anticlockwise. After every lap, we change direction at the roundabout where the blue marking is. And at the lowest and at the highest point, marked in red, we take the consumption and at the end we analyze the whole trip. I do this test for two reasons. Number one, to show that mountains are no excuse for high consumption, as I expect the final consumption of the four laps not being much higher than, our, than at our EcoDriver loop. And secondly, to find out about the real life region rate. Often you hear claims of 70, 80, 90%. We see at the end what it really is. So enjoy the trip, the scenery and the nice weather. I'll talk to you later. At half time, we see 15.6 kWh per 100 km, which is about 10% higher than at the big eco travel loop. When I started this kind of test months back, I claimed that the additional usage of energy is 10% maximum, and this is where we are now. We had some obstacles on those two laps, but as this claims to be a real life test, this is just what we have to live with. Let's see how far we can get down until the end. Coming to the end of this test, and when we leave this roundabout, we see here 15.4 kWh per 100 km. This is around 9% higher than what we had on the EcoDriver loop and just within what I personally consider being acceptable for the mountains. And now let's have a look at the details. Yes, let's have a look at the details for our trip on the mountain route with the Audi Q4 e-tron Quattro. And we see here the different consumption for every lap and the final consumption of 15.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers overall and more interesting what we see here it's the 48 percent regen rate 
that's very close to the 49% we had uh, with the Hyundai Kona. And considering uh, that today was Saturday and therefore there were a lot of drivers out there who who shouldn't be on the road and, and they're very slow and uh, with a very annoying slow driving style. They're looking ahead, just driving as somebody who is behind the steering wheel for the first time. Uh, therefore, I wasn't able to go as smoothly and fluently as I had as I'd wished. Uh, that's an impressive result. And this confirms the good results we had on the Eco Travel Loop. And there we've already seen that the region is very good and uh, now we know for sure. Overall, this car deserves praise. It's nice, smooth, uh, comfy to drive, plus it's very efficient. That's how an EV should be. If you want to see more of this car, then uh, you can see the consumption test on the EcoDriver loop over here. And here you find the playlist with, the, with similar tests I have done with other cars. And if you're generally interested in that topic, feel free to subscribe to this channel. If you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any new video. That's been it for the Audi. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.